So I've made a new board. This might be a nice project for you. Um, it is a crystal tester, and we'll talk about what that means. But uh, let me describe the board first. So it's available on my shared site on PCBWay, and you can uh, download the Gerbers and schematics and uh, order board if you want and stuff like things like that. Um, there's actually two boards, and they're separated by a stripe. Originally, I wanted to have a, uh, a V groove where you could snap snap the two and separate the boards if you wanted to. Unfortunately, the design criteria for V grooves, there's a minimum width of the of the PC board in order for them to clamp it in and, and score it without it falling apart and stuff. They, they need a minimum width to make everything rigid and this board didn't qualify for that. So I would have had to make, uh, anyway, it would have been, it would have been a pain. So uh, it just has a, a, a silk screen line right now. You could take it to a bandsaw or, or, or a hacksaw or something and separate the two if you want to, but uh, Anyway, uh, it's got two, two completely separate circuits, two completely separate ground planes. All right, so let's take a quick look at what it looks like loaded. Um, so this side of the board is a through-hole design. All the components are through-hole, and this side is surface mount. So they're, they're the exact same circuit, except for one is through-hole and one is surface mount. So this might be a good board for you to be learning about how to put down uh, surface mount parts. Um, uh, if you want to give that a try, you can always you can always do the through hole one in case that one doesn't work out for you. Uh, but yes, you can try uh, you can try both of them out, and they operate basically the same way. So there is a uh, an LED, and when the thing operates correctly, if you put in a good crystal, the LED lights up. If you put in a bad crystal, the LED does not light up. All right, and the same over here. There's a little surface mount LED in there. All right. So let's turn it on and uh, show, show it to you in action. So this thing can use pretty much any voltages from between about 5 and 15. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really care. So there's a, a ground connection and then there's a, a, a plus connection and we can turn it on and there we go. We have, a, we have a light, we pull out the crystal and the light goes out. Okay, so obviously this, this crystal is good. <laughs> All right, so great. So let's try out the surface mount side. Uh, let's see, this one's ground, this one's CCC, and, oops, my grabber is not grabbing. Why can't I push it in? Sometimes they kind of get crooked, and there we go. Uh, the Japanese ones are terrible. I love the Pomona ones. All right, and uh, yes, you can see that if I hold the crystal on over here, we get it, we get a, we get a light that lights up. So that's the way this thing works. All right. There's also a test point. I think you can see down here, there's a test point and uh, you can hook up an oscilloscope or a frequency counter or whatever. You can actually uh, measure the frequency with this thing. It's not a pretty sine wave. It, it's a, it's kind of a, a sawtooth waveform, uh, but it allows you to hook it up and uh, measure the frequency of your crystal. So this is a, supposedly a six, uh, six megahertz crystal. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's um, let's hook up the uh, O voltage over here so it's operating. All right, and uh, let me get a scope probe and hook up the scope and we'll go from there. All right, we have the crystal in and I have my scope probe uh, into the into the test point hole there. And let's go over to scope, take a look. Um, here we go. So there's our oscillation and we are measuring 5.9992 megahertz. So that crystal is good and it is oscillating. Uh, so it's a, uh, it's a cold pits oscillator. I'll show you the, uh, I'll show you the schematic here in a second, but uh, yeah, it's a cute little circuit. It's a very, very old circuit. I've found many, many revisions of this over the years. Um, and um, yeah, should be, uh, should be a little useful thing. All right. When you uh, download the schematic, you'll get uh, you'll get both sides. They're they're identical. This is the through hole side, and this is the uh, uh, this is the surface mount side. So it's a coal pits. Like I said, you can tell coal pits is by this split capacitor here. That kind of gives it away. When you're taking your test, if you're getting a ham radio license, remember this. If you see two capacitors split like that, it's the coal pits. And the crystal goes across it. Sometimes there's an extra resistor in here, but it didn't seem to be necessary for this one. Um, the uh, output of the uh, circuit here is this emitter, and I have it AC coupled, 
and then I, uh, if you've watched my op amp series, you'll, you'll recognize this circuit. It's a, a DC restore. So we're going to uh, AC couple it and then we're gonna reference it to ground with this capacitor. Now that we're referenced to ground, you should recognize this circuit. It's a peak detector. And so we reference it to ground and then we peak detect it. And then if there's any voltage here, it'll turn on this transistor, which turns on the LED. So very, very simple. Um, the component values are not too critical here. I have a thousand puff, thousand puff. Uh, in my board, I've got 120, 120, it doesn't really matter. Um, this capacitor just needs to be enough to pass things. The diodes, any old diode should be fine. This capacitor I have marked as two microfarads because that's what the original circuit had, but that seems to be pretty, pretty overkill. I, uh, in my surface mount version, I've got 0 0.068 microfarads here and it's just fine. Probably 0 0.01 is fine here too. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about all there is to it. The only thing I should mention is the pinout of these things. So the PC layout, uh, it, it's laid out such that it's emitter-based collector, one, two, three, emitter-based collector. And that's that's like a, a 2N3904 is emitter-based collector. So a, a 2N3904 is fine here. A 2N2222 is kind of a three-legged thing and you've got to put it in a weird way. It'll work, you just have to put it in a weird way. Just be, be wary of where that emitter is. And the same for the surface mount. Um, they're SOT23 packages, and unfortunately not all SOT23s have the same pinout. Like a 2222 and a 3904 have like different pinouts. It drives me insane. So on my board, I have a 2N2222, and that works fine here. Uh, just make sure that the emitter is, you know, the right one. Make, make sure your, your package, whatever transistor you use, that the, uh, the pinout matches the PC board. Um, yeah, other than that, everything is fine here. It's a little, uh, everything is uh, 0805 uh, component values, uh, uh, package sizes. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a closer look at the surface mount side because I think that's interesting. All right, here we go. Uh, a little close up here. So yeah, here are the two capacitors for the coal pits. There's the oscillating uh, version. Uh, here's the capacitor that sends it to the two diodes. And then there's this transistor turns on that LED. So it's a cute little package here. So it kind of gives you an idea of the, the area that's needed for through hole and the area that's needed for surface mount. It gives you an idea of why, why we do surface mount today. Uh, and the parts are small and cheap too. So yeah, surface mounts, surface mounts pretty good. Um, you can get uh, some, let me show you with this other board here. Bring it, bring it into the camera. So I have some little uh, uh, round pin sockets that I used for the uh, test test sockets for the crystal. So you can put those in if you want to, or or anything else doesn't really matter. But uh, this is what the uh, this is what the through hole side looks like. Give you a reference. And like I said, any old diode, one uh, n forty one forty eights, something like that. There you go. Anyway, hope you enjoy the, the little project. Um, I'll put links below, like I said, to where to go find it. And uh, yeah, have fun building it.